The Apple Watch SE Gen 2 has a lot of features that you probably didn't even know about. In fact, even though this one is the cheapest of the three new Apple Watches, it still has almost all of the features that you would find in the Apple Watch 8 or in the Apple Watch Ultra. So let's get started with some awesome tips and tricks for the Apple Watch SE 2. All right, let's start off slowly and make our way slowly to the top. First of all, you know that you can zoom in and out of your apps by rotating your crown, but you can also make your watch faces move like that. On analog watch faces, you can squeeze the numbers and make them white again. Or on other watch faces, for instance, you can change the colors and the shapes or just have another perspective at the universe. Some really handy features that you will find in any Apple Watch are the gesture controls and the assistive touch. Right here, you can toggle on the hand gestures, which are a great way to get around your watch. By pinching my fingers, I can scroll down and double pinching to scroll up again. I can clench my fist once to open up my notifications or twice to get to my docs. Of course, all of those actions can be customized and can be connected to any other quick actions, but those are just my favorite. You even have a shortcut to a lot of features by just triple clicking your crown. Over here in the accessibility tab, you will also find the chimes that a lot of us love and change them from a bird to a bell that will ring every hour, 30 minutes or 15 minutes. Something else that you should definitely check out in the general settings is the orientation feature. With this one, you can tell the watch on which wrist you want to wear it, but you can also change the button around. That means the screen will flip upside down and you can wear it on the other hand. Pretty cool, right? But that's not it. As long as your smartwatch is hooked up to your smartphone, you can actually mirror certain things. Like if you turn on the D&D or sleep mode on your watch, it will mirror those things over to your iPhone. So you don't have to do it twice. And that also works vice versa. Some really awesome apps that you can download from the App Store are WatchTube, TickWatch, and Lens. With all of these apps, you can either watch YouTube videos from your favorite YouTubers like me, you can watch TikToks on TickWatch, or even Instagram Reels over on Lens. There is really no setup to this, and you only have to log in with your Instagram account for the Lens app. The other two work right after you downloaded them. So if you go back to the watch faces for a second, you probably know you can change basically everything on every watch face that you have. Depending on the watch face, you can change the background color, choose a new style for the pointers, and of course, you can change all of the display metrics and even use them as little shortcuts afterwards right from your home screen. The cool thing is that you can even send those watch faces to some friends and show them how cool they are. Also, if you toggle on the screenshots over in your general settings, you can start taking screenshots of your current watch face or whatever you are on just by pressing the crown and the side button at the same time. Now, if you ever lost any of your devices, don't worry. As long as you have your Apple Watch on your wrist, you can always find them with the Find My Device app. As long as all your devices are connected to your Apple account, you can find them on a GPS net. It will start a route to get to your device, you can make it ring, and if you toggle on the lost mode, you can actually lock your device from a distance and leave your contact information behind for the finder. You probably know that basically all of the Apple Watches have a rather short battery life of only one day, which is why you can make use of the low power mode that you will find in the battery settings. This one may disable a few things like the background heart rate tracking or is delaying some notifications. But if you are on a long trip, you can really use those extra hours that you can get from this feature. Lastly, you can answer to messages either via text, you can send emojis or make use of the built-in mic and use the speak to dictate feature and send messages like that. And guys, that's already it for today. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.